Okay, I'm making a second video about using the uh, this um, ESP32 with the 2.8 inch uh, screen with a touch on it. And so what I've done is I uh, been experimenting a little bit today because I just received these uh, put, uh, basically adjustable resistors and um, right now I have this little speaker on and here is the the little uh, the little trimmer <laughs> and we can make it louder so that's as loud as it's gonna get on that, on that speaker what I like about it is that you can uh, uh, turn it slowly and and then basically almost no sound at all there's still a little bit of sound here so let's go ahead and see what it's gonna sound like when I put this larger speaker on uh, oh, I, unplugged. Oh, I did that camera thing again didn't I oh well Tony you just keep doing that I unplugged the wrong cable there we go so we need this this little cable and then here goes the speaker so I don't know if you hear it or not but uh, I can hear it very 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 faint so that's this one was the loudest okay but I don't stop here I'm gonna go ahead and uh, introduce you to uh, this little thing uh, which is in a amplifier 3 watt and it's in a uh, let me unplug this speaker then put it over here um, by the way I forgot to mention that this uh, adjustable resistor is uh, it's a 201 which is 200k and it seems to me doing the best job I tried uh, one kilo ohm and I tried 500 ohms and this one does the best job uh, 100 ohms so um, I, I really like it now this here is a little board that came with these two speakers which is stereo basically but I had to of course fake it because this just has a mono input and so but I'm going to demonstrate to you how uh, how how well this sounds and this one actually has a off switch so you can actually completely shut off the completely shut off the uh, the audio okay so <clears throat> Let's unplug this. Let's unplug this. And let me make sure that I'm doing it right. So we need this little cable here. There we go. And then I plug this end into the into the S, uh, ESP32. There we go. Now this here is only a power, so I'll turn the power on, and then uh, we're gonna play through these two speakers. So I can completely shut it off. So I like this the best, and uh, um, it works way better than this potentiometer that I did in yesterday's video. And uh, these uh, uh, adjustable pots are basically the best solution uh, after this one. So uh, basically on Amazon they sell in a two-pack of these stereo uh, speakers okay 
uh, it's called four piece audio speaker plus PM PAM 8403 uh, amplifier okay so the amplifier is is right here and uh, this is the second one so it comes with four speakers and two of these uh, uh, amplifiers and they are three amps by the way so that's pretty you know that's pretty pretty good and as you can hear it went a little bit when it was on the loud side it was pretty loud but and uh, it works and I think uh, if I had to make a a box and then put this in I would find I would make a box big enough to put this in and a battery the battery only powers this audio amplifier that's all it does I keep doing that that I not far enough okay one more time so this is the amplifier um, I'm sorry three watts not three amps <laughs> uh, three watts uh, for both channels and so what I did is I basically combined uh, the to, to the stereo I, I basically uh, put this uh, so the red and a uh, white are the left and the right signal and I uh, taped them together and I put a uh, an input through this little cable uh, which comes of course from here okay and uh, and then of course you have to make sure that you have the ground to ground uh, and that's pretty much so it you don't have to worry much about anything else uh, this this big speaker also worked pretty good and uh, the only thing I don't like about the little potentiometer the little adjustable pot is uh, that you have to use a screwdriver you know to to adjust it but if you make something and you want to make it as small as possible and just limit the sound and maybe it has a little hole on the side so you can actually make it louder or less loud uh, you know that's also a possibility using that okay so I hope that I explained everything well enough that uh, you understand it um, I don't know if anything else uh, you guys want me to cover just leave it in the notes and I'll make another video if I have to to uh, to go and help you guys out with whatever I know so don't use regular potentiometer it doesn't work very good I bought this whole kit uh, on Amazon it has 10 different val values starting at 100 uh, ohms and it goes all the way to 5 kilo ohms and uh, it's a uh, uh, the part number in here it says X003S and then a uh, Q4Q45 is what this item is but uh, it is basically just uh, a bunch of these and I can always use these so you know now I have plenty of them alrighty you have a great day and a great holiday pretty soon <laughs>